him be inducted into the Hall of Fame is absolutely heartfelt. And can we turn you? Are you like a, is that sun in your eyes? Well, I, I don't see too well anyway. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> when I think of Bill Osterholt, four words immediately come to mind. Knowledge, details, versatility, and respect. These are four words that Bill Osterholt is very familiar with. He's very familiar with those words because they embody the qualities of who he is as a martial artist and who he is as a man. These are the qualities that he lives by. These are the words that also represent the qualities that he instills into others. Just to share a little history with you, Bill Osterholt became my American Karate instructor back in 1977 under rather unusual circumstances. I was in college and had just started working at Karate International Greensboro during, doing door-to-door -door sales. It was my first week and I'd only taken two classes. The instructor was a nice guy and I liked his workouts. I came in the next day and was told that he had shot himself in the foot. So they were gonna, they were gonna bring in a new instructor named Bill. When Bill got there, it didn't take long for me to see that he had a very positive aura about him. We all also soon realized that he was extremely knowledgeable and we were able to learn from his teachings extremely well. Bill had an excellent ability to teach what he knows in a very detailed but understandable way. Looking back over the years, obviously I wasn't happy that the other instructor shot himself in the foot, but I will say that I'm absolutely happy that it worked out that Bill Osterholt ended up with the instructor. His vast amount of knowledge is invaluable, and he taught us the importance of always seeking. Another thing I learned from Bill was the tremendous importance of paying, paying close attention to detail. He teaches in a manner that allows you to easily concentrate on the details, and he emphasizes the importance of focusing on the finer points of each technique. Those detailed fine points might seem trivial or unimportant to most people, but Bill did a great job of teaching us that the sum total of all the little things add up and allow for greater knowledge, greater consistency, and greater overall success of all things. He also teaches the importance of not knowing just how to do something, but also the importance of understanding the details of why it should be done. Bill values the importance of teaching people to become more well-rounded and more versatile. I learned just how much emphasis he placed on that when I was a blue belt. I'd been busy and hadn't been to class for a week or two. I decided to go to a tournament a couple hours away just to fight. When I got there, Bill was one of the first people I saw. I went up to him and he said, hey, I didn't see you in class for a while. I told him I had a lot to do, but I'd be back next week. So he looked at me with a grin on his face and said, what are you up here today for? I looked at him and I was really puzzled and I said I came up to fight. He told me that if I wanted to fight, I'd have to compete in everything else too. Back then, the only aspect of the fight that I enjoyed was fighting, but I figured out since I was going to have to do everything, I may as well focus on working on all aspects of the fight. When I looked at, back on it, that was Bill Osterholt's way. He really impressed the, stressed the importance of becoming versatile and knowledgeable in all aspects of the art. And that's something he demanded of his students. And for me, that day served as the foundation for my lifelong love and study of corrupt love. Bill leads by example and virtual, versatile excellence also. He's an excellent guitarist. He's an excellent conversationalist. And I don't know how many of you know this, but he also has a master's degree in education from Lenore Ryan University. In karate and in taekwondo, his excellent precision, his intensity, and his expertise in forms, weapons, and fighting was always truly inspirational. Even now when he's competing, some people still call him Wild Bill. I never did, though. Back in the late 70s and early 80s, we used to shout out and cheer for Bill Osterholt by calling him another man. Whenever he displayed his awesome performances in kata and weapons, and when he'd ever kick somebody in the head with one of those sneaky spinning hook kicks in his. We'd always yell out, Go Willie Joe! 
<laughs> and that was for a reason. Because anybody that's ever been around Bill Osterholt knows that he's got a real friendly personality. He always carries himself with dignity, with intelligence, and with sincere humility. But in tournaments back in the day, he always turned into Willie Joe. And Willie Joe was focused on winning. Willie Joe was a little arrogant, and Willie Joe sometimes was just downright cocky. But even then, he was positive to teach us. He used to tell us that in competition, you compete and you compete hard. And that's what we did. We were determined, we went hard, and we always gave our absolute best out there. But afterwards, he taught us to always show appreciation and have total respect for your opponents. Bill taught us that even in the heat of battle, all of us are just part of one big old martial arts family. I wanted to be known that I have the utmost amount of respect for Bill Osterhoff. I'm very, very thankful to him for being an outstanding leader, an outstanding instructor, and an outstanding teacher. I'm also extremely thankful to be able to call him an outstanding friend. Back during the summer of 1982, Lisa was up for my apartment and I needed a place to stay for a couple of months until my move to Burlington could become finalized. He didn't have to do it, but out of the goodness of his heart, he let me stay at his place. And so for that, I'm eternally grateful. That's just one example of who he is because Bill Osterholt is always there when you need him and always willing to help others. Even after I left Greensboro and began training in other styles with other instructors, our values of friendship never wavered. To this day, I speak with him often. I visit his classes throughout the year. And my sincere thankfulness to him and my tremendous appreciation of respect for him is everlasting. So at this time, I like, like to repeat those four words that I mentioned earlier. Those Osterhoff words, knowledge, details, versatility, and respect. Those four words are words of value. And Bill Osterhoff lives by those qualities. He embodies those virtues. I'm honored and very proud to call him my instructor. I'm honored and very pleased to call him my friend. And I'm so very extremely honored to have these words read to him right now at this moment. Bill Osterhoff. Thank you for everything. I know he's not a hugger, but um, I know this is COVID. So this is totally not, not right. But. All right, you need to get a picture of that one. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, I, I wanted to have a chance to read that. And the unabridged version? 